by living experiences, what I mean by that is that we want to respect the human. Don't we need values true to ourselves as humans? We will see our version of, of the DeLorean flying in the air in a few years. But is that uh, the end of the story? Wouldn't it be great at taking a peaceful walk around the city of enjoying driving without traffic jams, either on the ground or in the air? If you say yes, uh, let's go beyond. Thank you very much. We have to change our behavior in fundamental ways. And we can't change our behavior unless we change our cities. A city doesn't need driverless cars, a city needs carless drivers. We create it not because we said, hey, we wanted to go out and create that kind of a platform, but we realized that it happened because they found their way onto our platform because they were just looking for a portrait. It does imply that if we want to communicate with machines that solve problems and that people care about, then those machines need to understand how people experience the world. I have to learn how to communicate with the robot. But in an ideal world, the robot should be learning how to communicate with me. And the way that I communicate is using natural language, just like I'm doing now. We have our own languages, so why can't robots learn to infer what I'm trying to say and then act accordingly? I think that what we're going to be able to do is see people be given a choice in their modalities and a, and, a, and a choice in a way that actually can be tailored to their kind of personal elasticity in the way they think about what's important or how you get there. So. And the customer changes. The customer of the future is not only the person who is being transported, it's also the municipalities, the cities. We're not trying to put a lot of information in front of people, we're trying to take away the number of decisions that you have to make in a car. Um, to, to enable the things that you're already going to be looking for and trying to get. So, right. We believe that your creativity is going to lead to greater mobility for all people. Or uh, the networking session was better than you expected. Typical this type of forum. Hello, I'm uh, Dan Hubert, the CEO and founder of Appyway. Appyway is a government-focused curbside management platform allows the city to, to digitize their assets. So I, yeah, I was quite happy to be able to participate here today because I was pleasantly surprised by the professionalism of the organization. So I could talk a little bit of my view on mobility in the future. Second time I've come and it's great to meet so many different people that had, you know, from many different fields of, of, of technology and mobility. 